morning, T fam. It's your girl, Princess. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. So, I'm eating breakfast and I wanted to share with the T fam, of course. So, let me show you what I have. I have some French toast uh, with some strawberries. And I have some, it's called Cocoa Whip. It's like Cool Whip, but it's, it's non-dairy. And the reason why I'm eating French toast, I usually do not eat breakfast, but I decided, okay, well, let's make some breakfast this morning. And it's because I wanted to try this syrup here that I got from Aldi's. It says Simply Nature. All right. And then in my cup, I have some ACI juice that I'll be drinking. So let's just get into this video. Let me give you a close up of my food. Look at it. Look at all that goodness, y'all. All right, so let's just get in to trying it. All right, so I'm just gonna pour some of the syrup over my French toast and see if I like it. Cause this is the first time I've tried it. Like I said, I got this at all these. These are the ingredients, you know, I like to do that. Show you what's in it. I'm gonna put it to the side and we're gonna get to tasting. French toast is one of those dishes I used to make when I was a kid. Cause it was it's super, super, super easy to make. So let's try it. I'm just gonna try it with the syrup. Mmm. Mmm. Now I'm going to add some Cocoa Whip and a strawberry. Look at that. Look at that bite. Mmm. Oh. The bread that I used was the... It's by Canon, and it's gluten-free Hawaiian bread. It's so good. Mmm. But, French toast is super, it's a super, super easy breakfast to make. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. It doesn't require many ingredients. All you need it's some type of bread, um, an egg, you can, um, cinnamon, mm. a little bit of vanilla, and there you have it. Like I said, when I was growing up as a kid, mostly like as a teenager, I, that's what I would make for breakfast a lot of the times in the morning time. Super easy, super good. Mm. And I just cut up some organic strawberries. And I decided to get on and have some breakfast with you all. Let me tell you yesterday, y'all. How do you do this? I got lost. You know how I got lost? Because I rely on my phone to take me everywhere I want to go. Usually, I'm pretty good with directions and getting places, but yesterday, I went to the, a Dollar Tree, <laughs> go figure, and it's a Dollar Tree I've been to a bunch of times, but the town that the Dollar Tree's in, I don't like to go to this town because I don't. it's hard to get out of the town if that makes any sense to you. It's not a town that I'm... Um, that I usually go to a lot, but it is a town that, you know, I've been to before a bunch of times. It's just every time I go, I have to use the GPS to get back home, if that makes any sense. And I wanted to try to go to Trader Joe's. Um, I wanted to try to go to Trader Joe's and... I was like, oh, my battery was dying. And I knew my battery was dying. I didn't have my extra charger with me. So um, I was depending on my GPS. Oh, 
my phone. But like I said, my phone was dying. So, I couldn't use my phone. And the thing about my phone, it was like at 2%. Then it got down to 1%, and I'm like, uh-oh. And I said I was, I was using the GPS. When you use the GPS, it uses more of your battery. Your battery dies quicker. And it said, like, I was six minutes away, y'all. Why my phone cut off when I was six minutes away from the place? And I'm driving around, driving around, trying to find Trader Joe's. And I got, I was getting frustrated because my phone was not, and I have a um, in-car charger, but it's, it doesn't work, it doesn't work well at all, at all. It doesn't work well. Like, it's like the slowest charging thing. It, like, if you're in trouble and you really need a charger, it doesn't work. So anyway, I did not find Trader Joe's. I ended up. Riding around until I found some uh, a familiar highway and got on the highway and came home. I just wanted to share that. That's so crazy. If you ever got lost, leave a comment down below. On that note, I'm going to go. Have a blessed day.